G'day guys, this is Matt of Zero's Play Heroes, and today we're talking Destiny 2. Um, now, a game I've been pretty excited about, hyped about even, um, and it has released out on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One to play now. Um, now, <clears throat> I got an opportunity to play this game on PC in beta. It looked fantastic, played really well on some scaled down PCs. This is during the period of which my computer wasn't... Uh, Windows compatible is what I'm going to go with, um, but I managed to play it on my little uh, LAN PC that I have that runs on a GTX 960. Now, a GTX 960, nice card on its own, managed to play Destiny with no issues whatsoever at 1080p. And after a little bit into the Destiny 2 um, beta, I had an opportunity to actually get my other PC, my main PC running, and got to play it in the GTX 1070 as well at the 1440p, and it looked and played really, really well. Now, I saw some improvements in the game, I and mean, things that I'd like to talk about once I actually get my hands on the real release because there's not much point talking too much about the beta. Now I can understand that there is a full release out there um, and now that the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One versions are out there I'm really excited to see how they go. The question I've got, and it's just a little bit, probably because I'm part of that, I don't know, the group who don't have it at the moment, um, a little bit of the have-nots. Why is the PC release six week difference? Uh, I know that the beta was around that same difference as well, but it seems very hard to believe that the port would take that long. But in that, in saying that, if the port is going to take that long, it bloody better be a good port. Um, and I think that's where the issue may lie, is there's going to be a higher expectation of this being a very good product once it comes out. And with it taking longer to come out on PC, the expectation will be also that a lot of the content that would probably be held within the first few weeks, which is a very common practice for MMOs, usually the latter end content and that type of stuff, and some of the PvP stuff as well, will need to be fully released when the PC game gets released. Because as much as Xbox and um, the PlayStation players will give it a go, they just can't compete on the same level of usage that a PC uh, player will be able to. And, well, the evidence is in looking at how MMOs are played, PCs play the hell out of them. So it should be good. The game played really well. It looked fantastic. It sounded amazing for the most part. Um, and just, it was a really good beta. It was a good sales pitch as a beta as well when they did the open beta part of it. And it being on the battle net kind of release and the Battle.net app is an interesting thing that I think is a positive as well, having that backing from the Blizzard Activision dual heads of uh, of games development and games, uh, I guess, release. <clears throat> now, that's pretty much all I want to talk about for Destiny 2. It looks like a great game. I'm really excited to play it, but I have to wait, which is really frustrating. And once we actually get in there, I'll do a review of it as we go. I don't... I, even though I enjoyed it, I don't think this is going to be the game of the year. I think it's a good game. I think it's a great step for a positive kind of reboot of Destiny. Um, and it seems to be the way that I think Destiny is supposed to be, which is really, really positive. And I think there's a really good potential of this game becoming something really big. Now, there is a lot of issues that are starting to come up in regards to microtransactions and all that type of thing. Once again, things that we'll discuss in that next video. Cheers heaps guys, stay tuned for some more videos. Um, I've actually started working with the Patreon stuff as well. You'll notice that none of my videos are, have any advertising in them whatsoever and I will eventually link the Patreon stuff but I'm still working on getting the kinks kind of worked out. Thanks heaps guys, have a great day in tech and oh, <laughs> a great day gaming and even better day in tech, especially when you get your own catchphrase thing wrong and I'll tell you what, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers heaps guys, bye.